Hey everybody, it's Jason, the adventurous gas monitor guy, and I'm coming at you with gas monitor tip number 13 from beautiful Joshua Tree National Park. So let me tell you what happened. I got a call from one of the biggest wastewater districts in the U.S., probably one of the biggest in the world. They had just gotten their gas monitors back from service, and they weren't working. It was a big mystery. Well, after some investigation, turns out that in preparation from the, for the training, the trainer the trainer, not me, another trainer, <laughs> wiped them down with something that in a gas monitor competence course or a gas detector competence course would be on the never use list. So the training was canceled and they had to buy all new sensors. So uh, today's tip's not just one tip, it's actually two. There were two lessons learned. Number one, you gotta know what you can and can't clean a detector with. And number two, don't just let anyone train your guys on the monitors. Remember, OSHA confined space entry training is great, you gotta have it, but they don't actually cover the use of the monitor. For that, there's a handful of organizations. You just Google gas monitor competence or gas detector competence training or something like that, and several of them will pop up. But don't just use any of them. There will be another video I'm going to put together that's going to go through what questions to ask to make sure you're in the right hands. Bottom line, know how to use your gas detector and stay safe.